I just spent $2,000 on Kylie Jenner's closet. Looks like she just sent me her trash. Unless we have this, which sold for that. Unless it was Pablo Picasso, I think painting on a Birkin's a full-blown crime. Like, how was that number determined? Who is that dude? Kai was like, eh, I don't like it anymore. And someone just paid that with their credit card? Negative three out of 10. The Kardashians are facing some serious backlash after they came out asking their fans to pay up to $70,000 for their used clothes and accessories. Now, despite them being a family of freaking billionaires, rumors are starting to spread that the Kardashians are seriously desperate for money because of their antics. Loves, you know what's worse than the insane price that they are selling this used stuff for? Some of the items are dirty and extremely worn out. This whole story is a mess, so let me spill the tea and we'll find out why fans are really furious at the Kardashians this time. Can the internet just leave Kim Kardashian alone? Why are people hating on her for selling one of her Hermes Birkin bags? Kim Kardashian branded desperate for reselling her dirty Hermes Birkin bag for 70k. First, desperate and Kim Kardashian should never be used in the same sentence. Now, the Kardashians are extremely well known for their various business ventures. From makeup to clothing lines, it's like they do it all. And the success of those businesses have enabled them to live an extremely lavish lifestyle. Just look at their clothes, houses, and cars. If you try living like that, you'll go broke in less than a day. It's hard to see an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians where they don't go for a shopping spree. The show was on for over 20 seasons and I don't think I saw any Kardashian wearing the same thing twice. And because of that, it's natural that over time, their closets started becoming full of stuff that they just don't need anymore. That's where a Kardashian closet comes in. Loves, the site that was launched in 2019 was a place for the Kardashians to sell their designer stuff that they didn't want anymore. Not gonna lie, this was a genius idea on their part. The Kardashian name can sell almost anything and it was also not a far-fetched idea given that before all the fame, Kim herself used to have a lucrative side hustle. She would clear out and organize her wealthy and famous friends closets. Y'all, instead of throwing the clothes her friends didn't need anymore, Kim would just resell them on eBay. In a 2015 interview with Variety, Kim revealed how her dad gave her the idea at first. He would let her buy a couple of designer shoes and then she would resell them for a profit. Kim recalled how she began one of her first businesses saying, I discovered eBay and I loved shopping. I had to be on a budget. I didn't have credit cards. How do I figure out how to make this a business. I remember I bought these Manolo Blahnik shoes that were $700. My dad let me buy five pairs. I had to pay him back plus interest. I sold every pair on eBay for $2,500. I became so obsessed with seeing that return, I would sell off the things I wouldn't be wearing. So fast forward to today and the Kardashian closet is now at the center of serious fury from fans. And let me tell you why. The site is described by the Kardashians themselves as a luxury designer clothing resale site that brings the fashion fashionable and fun clothing from the famous Kardashian-Jenner family closets to yours. They even go as far as to say that each Kardashian hand selects from their closet the items that they want to be sold on the site. However, they leave out the part where they charge any amount of money they feel like for those used clothes. On the site, the clothes are carefully categorized by who owns them. Even the Kardashian kids have their own section on the site. Okay. I bought used Kardashian clothes when I was bored, so let's open it. <laughs> this is the website that I bought from. They sell their used clothes on there. There's also no returns, exchanges, cancellations, nothing. They're strict. Now, of course, you would expect that the price of these items would reflect the fact that they are used, and at first they did. You could find items for as little as 20 bucks. However, that has changed drastically as of late, and fans are extremely pissed off. Let's take Chloe, for example. She recently posted a Zara jacket that her daughter used to wear that was up for sale on the site. Now, when people clicked to see the listing, they were shocked when they saw the price. Loves, Chloe had this used jacket listed for 50 bucks. Now, what's more shocking is that on their official website, Zara sells the similar brand new jacket for as little as $25. That's half the price of a brand new one. Did I also mention that you can get the exact same jacket for $13 on eBay? This is what it looks like when you open it. I thought it was gonna be more bougie, but we got this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is Kendall Jenner's jacket. I spent $175 on it. Not too bad. But I was like, I might end up wearing it in the winter time, you know? Okay, let's try it on. What does it smell like? It doesn't smell like anything. 
And that's just one listing. The Kardashians are selling their used stuff for the same price as brand new ones, and in some cases, selling them at a serious profit. And on top of that, some of the people who bought items from them on the site have complained that the packaging is low quality and some of the items are even dirty. Like this Birkin bag that Kim put on the site for a staggering $70,000. Now, forget the fact that Birkins are extremely expensive. What has gotten people angry is that despite the $70,000 Kim is asking for, she didn't even bother having the bag restored. Just straight from the listing, you can see that there's some rust at the bottom of the bag. It's slightly worn, not to mention the fact that it's filthy. And you know what's worse? Kim has listed the bag's condition as good with only some discoloration on the handles and underside bottom corners and minor scratching on the metal. Loves, it doesn't even come as a surprise that fans were angry when they saw this. Take a look at these people's reactions after they saw this bag. Desperate and Kardashian absolutely should be used in the same sentence. The bag in its condition would be worth 35k ish. People are mad because of the markup. Is it worth more because it's hers? Here's the problem with the Kardashian closet. 99% of these items are gifted to them and then they turn it around and sell it at close to retail prices. Is any of that given to charity? There's no evidence. What gets me though is that the price is three times what I make in a year and my kids go hungry sometimes. That said, if I was that rich, I'd totally buy designer. Everyone is talking about the Kardashian dirty Birkin, but there's a much bigger issue that no one's talking about. And that's how after buying this bag, it can ultimately be seized from me without return or compensation. Now, I decided to do some digging to find out how much really is Kim's bag worth and what I discovered shocked me. According to My Gemma, a company that deals with buying and reselling of luxury items like Kim's Birkin, based off of the photos Kim listed, the bag is valued at around $35,000. And given the condition of the bag, they themselves wouldn't even buy the bag for resale. Meaning Kim K is marking up the bag for almost $35,000. That's double the actual value of the bag. That's not even taking into consideration the condition of the bag. And loves, do you wanna know the worst thing? Let's say you have $70,000 to buy the bag. You could still have the bag taken away from you by authorities because it doesn't come with a site certificate. Now, because Kim's bag is made out of alligator leather, a site certificate has to be issued to the owner of the bag because it's proof that the material used on the bag was legally obtained from the animal and proper procedures were used. So if you buy Kim's bag and you pass through TSA or something, if you can't provide the certificate, the bag can be taken away from you. In some cases, you could even land into serious legal trouble. Now, Kim has been silent amidst this whole scandal, but Chloe, on the other hand, has somehow managed to get herself into some trouble after she made a post and people are now calling her a hypocrite and out of touch. Now, after the insane markup Chloe added to her used clothes, basically selling them for a profit, she took to Instagram to repost one of the most tone deaf posts ever. Chloe decided to share with her followers the simple formula of living. The list of things one should do included live beneath your means, give clothes not worn to charity, and most ironically, be humble. Now, the irony of Chloe asking people to give clothes to charity while she was selling her clothes at an insane profit wasn't lost on people. Just read these people's reactions to Chloe's post. She's telling her peasant fans to do this while she goes and does the exact opposite on the list. Live beneath your means? Wait, do I see a Kardashian closet? Donate to charity? Great idea, Kardashian closet. If there's one thing Chloe is, is a hypocrite. One of the biggest I've ever seen. Seriously, she always has advice and criticisms on everyone else's life and relationships, but can never look at her own and only sees the faults there. Give clothes not worn to charity. Meanwhile, she literally sells her daughter's stuff online. The hypocrisy is crazy. If give your clothes to charity wasn't there, this would be another cringe Chloe post and it wouldn't bother me that much, but really? You post this a week after being called out for reselling your child's used clothing online? <laughs> $2,990. Now, Kylie has also been at the center of money-related drama as of late. A 
while back, Kylie and her company got exposed for using a small business owner, Amy, who runs a cake company. Now, Amy shared that a while back, an events company got in touch with her on behalf of Kylie. Naturally, Amy was excited to work with Kylie, so she immediately let them know the price of the bespoke cake that Kylie wanted, and she even freed up her schedule because she planned to travel to LA to make the cake for Kylie. In a really heartfelt post, Amy wrote, I was reached out to over a month ago, and I told them the price after the first email. I even tried to hold off on orders mid next month because I was excited by the opportunity. I was even willing to have it in coincidence with a pop-up in LA so that I would be able to cover the cost of travel and accommodation myself. Loves, Amy then said that she had to make a deck for Kylie's team to give examples of what she could create because Kylie's team reportedly couldn't imagine how the cake could just turn out from the images and presentations that Amy had given them. And Loves, after she did all this, Kylie's team reached out to her and told her that they wouldn't even have enough money in the budget for her cake. Y'all, what's worse is that they then went around and had another cake made that wasn't even as good as Amy's. After this, Amy took to her Instagram to vent her frustration. Then Kylie's team reached out to her and asked her to take down her posts, to which Amy replied saying, they're making me take this down, but I didn't sign any NDA. Had they said something like, we're not doing any desserts anymore, then I would be like, okay. And had they not already gotten this knockoff in the past, I'd be annoyed that I was wasting my time making the deck, but I'd be fine. But the price? After seeing Kylie reach out to Amy to apologize because she was receiving major backlash from people online, now considering the prices they are asking over at Kardashian Closet, the price of the bespoke cake is nothing to a billionaire like Kylie. But the fact that Amy emailed them the price as soon as they got in touch with her, then they asked her to make the cake only to then switch up last minute and say that they didn't have the budget, that is just purely mean. But what do you guys think of this whole Kardashian scandal? Because for people as wealthy as them trying to profit off of their fans in this manner, it just isn't right. They are selling stuff more expensive than when they were new just because they were touched by a Kardashian. Anyways, let me know your opinion on the Kardashian closet in the comments down below. And don't forget to check my other videos to ensure you are up to date with the tea.